What's going on Tackle Warehouse fans? This is Jake here giving you a how-to video. So we're starting a whole new education series. So this first one we're going to start off with is how to tie a Palomar knot. So it's going to be great for beginner anglers all the way to advanced level anglers. We can KVD ties this knot, so if it's good for him, it's good for all of us. This is a super quick knot to tie. It's super easy to tie. It's incredibly strong. It's good for just about every application and it's also good with all line types. So there's some crucial elements on how to tie it correctly and some mistakes that you can make along the way that could actually compromise the knot and compromise your line strength as well. So we're gonna go over all the key features on how to tie this correctly. All right, the first step with the Palomar knot is we're gonna run the line through the eyelet of the hook and then back through and du to double your line in the eyelet of the hook. So you can either run it through in and out, or you can double your line and just push the looped in through. We're using 150 pound Power Pro and a three aught must have flipping hook, so it's a little easier to run it in and then back out. So then you get your hook centered in the amount of line that you got. You wanna give yourself a good amount of room to tie this. And the first thing you wanna check is that your lines are not crossed in the eyelet of the hook. So if your lines are crossed, that's gonna cause you know abrasions and cause the line to bind up on each other and it's gonna compromise the knot later on and you might break it. Second part of this knot is you're going to take your looped end, so pinch your looped end and your tag end, keep your hook right there in the center, and you're going to make an overhand knot with your looped end. Pull it around, pull it through, grab your looped end, and this is a, another crucial part of the knot itself. So you want to leave your finger in there and keep this first knot from, from cinching down too early. If it cinches down too early at this moment in the knot, your line's gonna come through, you're gonna burn your knot, and that's when you're gonna have a lot of issues, especially with fluorocarbon. So take your looped end here, pull your hook through, keep everything nice and spread apart. So you wanna keep everything straight and flat and keep the whole knot as one unit. So you're gonna want this to all come down together at one time. So start pulling it all down together at one time. And right when the knot is about to cinch down at this moment, at the very end, moisten it. And that's when you do your final pull, pull on the tag end and the main line itself, and then you're done with the knot. And then all you gotta do, trim your tag end. If you're using this for a drop shot, which we highly recommend using this for a drop shot, you just take your tag end, run it back through the front of the eyelet of the hook. And what that's gonna do for a drop shot, it's gonna be able to, it's gonna keep your hook standing straight out. It's a little bit hard to do with this big three-op flipping hook. All right, next we're gonna show you what not to do using fluorocarbon line with the Palomar knot. So we got some 20 pound FC sniper floor here, and this is where people run into issues, especially using fluorocarbon, is when they tie this knot incorrectly, cinch it down the wrong way, you're, gonna, you're just gonna run into a lot of issues in the, in the knot breaking. So you're gonna take your fluorocarbon, same steps, go through the eyelet, back out, make your looped end, go back around overhand, and this is the crucial part that people sometimes don't understand or mess up on this knot. So what they do is they cinch the line too early in the process. So they cinch the knot down and you've already got a knot tied around the eyelet. You put your hook through the loop and then you pull your tag end, you pull your tag end down. And what that does is you can see how this line is all curled up now. What you can't see is under a microscope, this has got a ton of abrasions against all this line and inside the knot itself. So if you cinch the knot down too early, you're gonna wind up with this and your, your line's gonna be weakened and there's gonna be abrasions on it and you're gonna have tons of knot failures if you, if you cinch down the knot too early in the process. Well, I hope this teaches you guys how to tie a Palomar knot. If it did, make sure to hit the like button. If you got any other ideas on videos you'd like us to film or questions, make sure to put a comment below. And for more videos like this, make sure to go to our website.